So in this video, I'm going to show you how we do the test statistic method for the sample means hypothesis test in this example. So again, I've saved the first part. I've saved the conclusion. It's just the mathsy bit here that I'm going to fill in. So how do we find the test statistic? Well, it uses the coding z equals x bar take away the mean divided by the standard error. Look for this in your formula booklet. So what is x bar? Well, x bar is the sample mean, so 1,996 that we want to test. The mean is 2,000, so that's your population mean. Sigma is the standard deviation, which is 25. And the sample size was 100. So we've got the square root of 100. OK. So we put this into our calculator. Um, let's see what we get. So we have 1,996, take away 2,000, divided by 25 over the square root of 100. So we get minus 8 fifths, so minus 1.6. So this is the test statistic. That's the value that we are testing. OK. Now, what do we test it against? Well, what we're doing here is we are looking at a standard normal distribution. Here's 0. The value that we've just found is minus 1.6, which is somewhere here. OK. Now, we need to determine the essentially the critical value for this. Uh, now, is it to the left or to the right? Now, seeing as I know that we're going to reject the h0 anyway, right, I know that this region here, this value, um, is actually going to be to the left because this has to be the 5%. Essentially, this is the same diagram that I drew before with the, when I did the critical region method. It's just a lot more laborious. Okay. So how do I work out that value? Well, I'm going to use the inverse normal method that I used before. So essentially, you could write down the critical value here. Um, I sometimes prefer to use the notation of the inverse normal. So that's using an inverse phi. You can use this if you like. Uh, you don't have to. Um, but what it does is it finds you the standard normal probability, um, standard normal uh, value, rather, when you plug in your area. OK, so inverse normal of 0.05 is what I'd want. So what am I actually doing to calculate that? Well, I'm going to menu. I'm going to distributions. I'm going to go to inverse normal. I'm going to put the error in as 0.05, because I'm looking at 5%. And I put the standard deviation in as 1 and the mean as 0, because I'm looking at the standard normal. And I get minus 1.64485, etc. That is this value here. And as you can see, that is to the left of minus 1.6. So minus 1.6 is greater than minus 1.64485, etc. And so the result is not significant. So we fail to reject H0. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that the population mean lifetime of the light bulbs is less than 2,000 hours. So that's how you get to your conclusion that way. So essentially, the test statistic method is essentially using the critical region method, but converting everything to the standard normal distribution. Um, why you would choose to do it that way <laughs> um, is a little bit weird to me as to why you would choose to do it that way. But the reason why I'm going through it is because mark schemes have been using it. Um, mark schemes have shown this method. So in order to understand what's going on, 
Um, hopefully this is helpful. But again, you may see, you may get a question where it is, you know, um, I think I explained this before, um, that you might get a, a student's attempt at a question, at a hypothesis test. They've used this method and your job is to identify where the error is and correct it. So it could, you know, likely mistake is that they accidentally put five in here rather than 25, for example. Okay, so it is worth knowing how to do, um, and I will continue going through this method as the third example, um, or the third method for each of the examples, just so you can see how it works.